I got a call a couple days ago from a customer that inspired this video today, and it's a question that I get often. What are the differences between the Limited and the Touring trim level in the Outback? They're very closely aligned in features. You can get a lot of the same things on the Limited that you can get in the Touring, but there are some things on the Touring, namely seven different things that I've counted out myself that, that you can only get on the Touring trim level that is not available on the Limited. So in today's video, I'm gonna uncover those details for you. I'm gonna share with you some, some quick identifiers, some quick things that you can just look at visually on the outside of to see if it is a touring or a limited. And then to go further, I'm gonna share those details so you can determine which trim level is the best fit for you. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Alex. I like to share weekly videos all on Subaru related topics. So if you like those types of videos and you like Subarus, consider clicking that subscribe button down below. As always, if you guys have questions, leave those down below. And if you enjoy this video, please remember to click the like button. That helps me out a lot and I would really appreciate it. Starting out, when you look at the outside of the Outback, whether you're looking at a Touring over here on the left or the Limited on the right, there are a lot of similarities. The size of the cars are the exact same, so the body is the exact same design. The front end of these two Outbacks do look different, and that has nothing to do with the trim level. It's actually because this is a 2024 model. So 2023 and newer, the Outback got a mid-cycle refresh, and this is the front end that it received with the updated headlights and grille. And on the left, this is what an Outback in the 2020 through 2022 model year will look like. You'll notice on the cladding, it uh, doesn't come up to the headlight like it does on the 23 and newer models. They both come standard with a 2.5 liter engine. That's actually uh, what we're going to be comparing for today's purposes, but you can get a, an XT in either one of these. The XT is the, the turbocharged engine if you want a little bit more speed and, and performance. It's gonna be more equivalent to the performance that we saw in the, the 3.6R, the six cylinder that was offered 2019 and prior. So the, the six cylinder is no longer offered as of 2020 and newer. So yeah, these are, they look identical. And so it makes it hard to differentiate between the two. Now, a couple key identifiers, if you're just trying to look quickly to see the differences between the two, look at the mirrors. If you have satin chrome mirrors on the Outback, that is a, a key indicator that it is the Touring trim level. You also have satin chrome roof rails and chrome bits on the, the door handles. Now, if you have a, a 2019 and prior, you won't have the, you'll have actually the, the same color uh, mirror on the, uh, the body as the, the side of the, the car, but the uh, roof rails will still be chrome. They'll just be the, the much lower profile. I'll try to grab a picture and include it here to show you what that looks like, but that is another way to, to just visually tell what trim level it is. There's a common misconception that you have to jump up to the touring trim level and to get some of your uh, higher trim amenities like a heated steering wheel, but that's not the case. You can get a limited with the optional package and what that optional package includes is the heated steering wheel, a built-in navigation powered by TomTom, Tom, the power moonroof, and a system called driver focus. The driver fo focus works with your memory seats and mirrors. Uh, using facial recognition. The driver focus is up here. So if you have it, you'll see this little infrared bar on top of your infotainment display. And that scans the driver's face when they get into the car. And when you close the door, it'll work in, in with your memory seats and mirrors to, to move your seats and your mirrors back in your desired position that you previously saved. You can set up to five driver profiles with that that driver focus, that infrared bar up there. Now they call it driver focus, namely because it also uh, has uh, detection for your eyes if you are looking off the side of the road or maybe looking down at your phone or, or distracted. It will, it will tell you on the dash to pay attention. It's a gentle reminder. You don't have to have that system on, so you can turn it off, but uh, that is a, a feature that is only on the Limited with the optional package, and it's standard on the Touring trim level. We'll compare the price on these two trim levels, and then we're gonna dive into the seven features, the things that you can only get on a Touring trim level that is not available on the Limited. So starting out, the price on a Limited without that optional package, this is the entry level Outback Limited for 2024, is gonna run with destination delivery. MSRP will run right at about $37,000. 
it's 2000 and some change, a little over $2,000 to get the optional package. So if you want the limited with the optional package, it's gonna be right around $39,000. And then bump up to the touring, it is going to be 41,640 starting out on the MSRP. So about $2,500 more than the, the limited with that optional package. We already talked briefly about the first difference between the touring and the limited, and that has to do with the aesthetic characteristics on the outside. So the first difference is the satin chrome mirrors with the satin chrome roof rails. Now these mirrors are power folding. So they power fold whenever you lock the door or whenever you are inside the car there's a button that you can press right here. If you tap that, that will close your mirrors for you. The Touring is the only trim level that you can get the brown leather interior. It does have the optional black leather, but it comes with the, the only one you can get the optional brown. And this is Napa leather. It really kind of takes sitting in a, a Touring and a Limited to compare the differences, but just by touching the steering wheel and filling these seats, you can tell that the Napa is a slightly softer material than the leather that is in the Limited. So you get a, a finer grain, a higher quality leather in the Touring trim level. The Touring and the Limited both come with front row heated seats and second row heated seats, but the Touring adds ventilated air conditioned seats. So if you want something that's going to give you cooling seats on hot days like today, then the Touring is the only trim level you're going to be able to get that has that option. All of the Touring trim levels come standard with a front view camera. So if you click this button, you'll see a wide angle view of cars coming down the aisleway. So this is incredibly helpful for parking spaces. If you have two large cars parked next to you, maybe you can't see quite out to the edge of your car. You're trying to get out into the aisle without getting hit or maybe somebody's got their grocery car out front this will be really helpful for you to see out ahead with a wide angle of course if you do take your car hiking or kayaking and you're somewhere on a trail and maybe you want to see out ahead whether there's rocks or sticks or trees or stumps whatever it may be that can also be used for that as well. Speaking of cameras, we are all familiar by now with the EyeSight cameras on Subarus. There's two cameras positioned on the inside of the windshield. That helps with your pre-collision automatic braking system and your adaptive cruise control. Now on the Touring trim level, this is actually an ascent because I don't have a, a newer model Touring. So starting in 2023, they added this third camera, it's called a monocular camera lens, and that helps detect objects out ahead, not just cars, but also for better detection for pedestrians and cyclists out front. So that is a new bit of safety technology, part of the newer EyeSight system that is now on the 2023 and newer Outback Touring. This next feature that is only on the Touring, I'm gonna have to use a Subaru Ascent again for the example because we don't have an Outback Touring on the lot that has this right now. And that's because they just came out with this uh, first introduced in 2023. So the 2023 model Outback Tourings will have this feature. It's called a smart rear view digital mirror. And the point to having this is uh, if you are traveling and you have people in your back seat or you have luggage in the back and you can't see out of the back window, physically, you can use this digital camera that is positioned on the, the top of the roof and the spoiler to see out of your back window. So that is a, an option that is only on the, it's well, it's standard on the touring, it's only on that trim level. And lastly, while most people will listen to their music from the radio or through Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, through apps like Spotify and Pandora, you do have a CD player that is standard in the touring trim level. It's located in the center uh, armrest here when you lift that up you will see your CD player. Now you can get this added as an optional accessory on other trim levels, but it's standard on the Touring. That is just something to know if you are somebody that likes to use CDs. Both the Limited and the Touring trim levels have a ton of awesome features that make it hard to go wrong with either one. But if you are somebody who wants or needs some of those higher trim amenities like ventilated air conditioned seats, the Napa brown leather, or even that new smart rear view digital mirror, then you'd wanna go with the Touring trim level. 
Let me know your all's thoughts down in the comment section below. Which trim level do you prefer? Do you like the limited or the heavily optioned touring? I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to click that like button. It really does help out a lot and I really do appreciate it. I will answer any questions you guys have down in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next one.